Who am I drink this all the time? Lauren Simone here from Books, Booze, and Bops, where we keep you lit and literate. And today, we are doing a cocktail that is just as sweet and dangerous as the goddess Oshun herself. You know, the goddess that Beyonce portrayed in the whole love video? Our novel, Pride by E.B. Zoboy, celebrates Afro-Latinidad in many ways. One of which is interweaving Santeria into the book, mostly the goddess Oshun. Since our protagonist Zuri is a daughter of Oshun, I thought it only right to do a cocktail in her honor. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make Oshun's offering. Let's get into it. Fun fact, in Yoruba tradition and Santeria, each of the Orisha has a selection of foods that can be offered up as a sacrificial offering. These are foods that they would have liked to eat in human form. Oshun is partial to honey. Honey is something she really takes delight in, which is why the base of this cocktail is honey liqueur. This cocktail only has four ingredients. Honey, lemon juice, pineapple orange guava juice, and honey liqueur. Now the honey liqueur I'm using, I don't know how to pronounce, but I believe is Daristi Exentuban, something like that. It comes from Mexico and it is specifically an ancient Mayan liqueur. So you're going to have a shaker of ice as we always do and to that you're going to add the honey liqueur. I'm feeling a double shot today. Boom. Then to that you're going to add Let's do the lemon juice first because the lemon juice cuts. So I'm going to put an ounce of lemon juice in there. Actually, yeah, an ounce of lemon juice. We're going to put just a little bit of honey. Now this honey is like real honey. Like it got the honeycomb in there and everything. It is super sticky. I probably should have used a spoon, but y'all know sometimes my brain escapes me. So that's not what I decided to do. You know what? Let me go get a spoon and stop. And we're back. I have a spoon. So I'm going to take some honey, put that in there, not the honeycomb. Um, and that's some pure honey that my grandma gave us. I think she got it from like a local farm or something, but you can use whatever honey you have. It's not a big deal. Boom. Put that in my cup. And then I'm going to add all this juice. I believe it's four ounces. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. About five-ish. All right. And after you have all of those ingredients in your shaker, y'all know what it is. The first shaking time of the season. Let's do it. Y'all know my general rule of thumb. Ten seconds. Here we go. We're gonna strain this into the cup. Ooh, this is so pretty. Ooh. Strain it all in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Once you've strained everything into the glass, I'm gonna take the spoon with a little bit of honey on it and give it a cute little stir. So let's taste the cocktail. Good job. Look at the color. She's so pretty. And like I said, this cocktail is as sweet and dangerous as Oshun herself. Oshun is sweet and loving, but is also known to have the worst temper. Y'all go watch Hold Up. Go watch Hold Up by Beyonce and see what I'm talking about. So this cocktail, I say, is sweet and dangerous because... The honey liqueur that we used, that is the, 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 
you know, that is 30% alcohol. So depending on how much you use will determine how dangerous it is. But a couple cups of this, you good. Oh, I might drink this all the time. This has been Books, Booze, and Bops where we keep you lit and literate. If you liked what you saw today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And then go follow us on Instagram at books dot booze dot box click the link in our bio for access to our spotify pinterest and patreon y'all know we love giving you this content it's what we do but it costs money so if you like what you see here throw us a couple dollars you know so we can we can keep this up <laughs> y'all already know what it is stay lit stay literate and y'all be easy i'll catch y'all next week bye